things that are in here that I, I'm happy to see were some of the things that the trustees were asking for, like the um, personal power, power of the person, the legal thing that allows them to uh, make decisions about stuff. There's a couple of things in here that I, I'll just, I've got about a couple of minutes left. Um, this is not a shell bill. Again, I referred to the weight of the thing. Yeah, it's about the same as my smallest cat. So, you know, there's some heft to this one. Uh, it's coming in at 200 pages, close to 200 pages. Um, it's not a shell bill. It's not just, you know, this is the act and everything else comes under the minister, but it's close. <laughs> There's a lot, a lot of stuff that is now deferred to the minister. And why do I have problems with that? I have problems with it because it does not come back in front of the people. It does not come back in front of this legislature for debate. The people may never know until it's a done deal. They may not have the opportunity for consultation. They may not have the opportunity to find out that there is something uh, under consideration by the minister. It's just going to be done and announced because the minister may make regulations and there is no requirement that regulations come before this house. And I always have trouble with that and I am right to have trouble with that because there's too many examples of where government has made those regulations and that awful cliche behind closed doors and out of the view of the people. But that's what happens and I'm always going to uh, rail against that. Um, 